every PC fan knows that they need the right case for their fresh build, and the variables that need to be satisfied appear endless. We are here today to help some of you with making some of those decisions. And it seems with the eruption of RGB, looks and aesthetics have overtaken almost every other consideration. Well, this F15G from GameX has that covered out of the box, and with a remote control option too, it's super easy to sort out. We'll look at more of this a little later though, and we suggest if you are stating out, ease of build is the most important bit to get right when it comes to sourcing a new case. And the GameX have done that so well with their F15G. They do like to use macho names for their cases like Abyss, Black Hole, Aero, Commando, or Predator, and Kamikaze. And look past these cheesy names and you will find an inevitable range, mostly in the £70 range here in the UK, which is around $80 or $90 US. Heaps of style and colour seems to have been their mantra at the design stage, but they are good. There's no sharp edges on our F15 here, and acres of space inside for motherboards right up to the rarely used extended ATX. An ITX will look a little bizarre though in that black cavernous interior. There is also room for a proper water loop if you are so inclined. Even around the back there appears to be plenty of space for just about anything. So let's get some of the basic specs out in the open. The case itself is 215 millimeters wide, 483 millimeters tall with a depth of 461 millimeters. Tempered glass panels are on the front and side and are pretty substantial at four millimeters thick giving some extra confidence when handling. There is an option to buy a mesh front for extra airflow, but the glass ones does have some decent sized mesh style slots running vertically. Once inside though, if storage requirements are your thing, then you are in luck. The Game Max F15G has room to install four mechanical drives and five more for your SSDs or 2.5 inch laptop style hard drives. There are seven full size expansion slots to take graphics cards, 365 millimeters in length, and a processor cooler of 165 millimeters high. Grab yourself a GPU riser cable and you can mount it vertically right from the box. Game Max have given you 25 millimeters for the cable management from all of those fans and the standard ATX size power supply. And of course, you will need every single scrap of space if you end up with nine storage drives. Also inside is an easy to use fan hub already wired and you get that aforementioned remote for the fans speeds, modes and even colors. It is also fitted with a three pin aura connector and VDG connector. You need to power it using a SATA connection and where the hub is placed from the factory, you will need a flat connection, not one where the cables come out at the right angle, for example. You can buy adapters or some power supplies will come with inline wiring or just simply move the hub. It is held in place by a piece of Velcro, so it's easy to do. Oh, and before I forget, the hub will take up to six fans and is compatible with Asus, MSI, and Gigabyte RGB Fusion. The reset button is wired into the hub so you can change the lighting mode by cycling through them all with the push of a button. On the front, there are the usual suspects of the power button, two USB 2s and one USB 3 slot along with HD audio and an LED indicator. So back to those fans and cooling in general. At the front, it comes with two 200 millimeter ARGB fans, but you could swap them for two 140s or three 120s. And at the rear, there is one 120 millimeter ARGB fan. There is room for two LED strips as well if that is your thing. But of course, there is space up top for a wide range of radiators. At the front, there is room for up to a 360mm on the top, a 240 and a 120 at the rear and two 120mm fans on the bottom. Should be enough really for anyone. The F15G is also a cinch to build in. The motherboard's rear plate clipped in place easily, something that can leave you pulling out hair with some cases at times, so not such a minor concern here. The motherboard standoff screwed in easily as well even the usually fiddly front control connections like power switch and hard drive leds are easily reached i literally had nothing to complain about when building a modest pc for the sake of this video it all went together so well defying the relatively cheap cost these days of the case yes there are smarter looking cases out there but a whole raft of worse ones as well and those posh ones will cost you a kidney at times Game Max have come a long way in its relatively short history since its key players met by chance at the 2010 Consumer Electronics Show at Vegas, and we are eagerly looking forward to what they can achieve in the coming years. Thank you very much for checking out our review video of the Game Max F15G gaming PC case. If you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button. Please subscribe to keep up with our latest tech and gaming videos. And also let us know in the comments down below what you think about this case. Is this something that you could see yourself building in? Let us know in the comments below. As I say, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.